Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, is it possible to pass the test data through TestNG XML file? If yes, then how? Let me answer. First of all, is it possible to pass test data from TestNG XML file? The answer is yes, we can pass. So how then? With the help of this parameter tag and at the right parameters annotation. Now let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have this sample project. In this sample project, we have this class. Inside this class, I'll create a test and test. That is public void sample sample test, okay? Like this I'll create. Now on the top of this method, I'll write down at the rate test annotation. For the mouse on this at the rate test and import this from SNG, that's it, okay? Now inside this, write some Selenium code or whatever the code, let's say, I'll write down something like this. Web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Now hold the mouse on this web driver and import this web driver from Selenium library. Similarly, import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium library. After that, write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize, then say driver dot get. Okay. So driver dot get. Here I need to pass the URL. So I can hard code the URL here. I can hard code the URL here, for example. What I can do is I can go to this uh, application. I'll give the URL of this login page. I'll give the URL of this login page. Copy this uh, URL of the login page and paste it here. So, so firstly, I have hard coded the URL. And after that, I would like to enter the email address and password here. Inspect this email address field. It has an ID. I'll copy the ID attribute value of this uh, email address field and write down write down the code like this. Driver dot find find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of that field and say dot send keys. Here I would like to hard code the email address. I would like to hard code the email address as uh, I would like to take this one. Let's see whether it will work fine or not. And copy paste for now. And uh, here, I'll inspect this password. I'll copy the ID attribute value of the password field and write down driver.find element by dot ID, ID locator of that password field and say dot send keys and password is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five is a password. And then I would like to click on the login button. Okay, here, one, two, three, four, five. And then I have to click on the login button inspect and it doesn't have an ID attribute. So let me create an XPath expression for this. So for that, I'll simply say control F and I'll copy this uh, login and uh, I'll create an XPath expression double slash input at the rate value is equal to login like this. It's locating this login button, copy this XPath expression of the login button and simply say driver dot find element by dot XPath, provide the XPath expression of that login button and say dot click. There's a sample Selenium automation code I have written. So in this uh, Selenium script, if you observe, we have hard coded the URL of the application. Tomorrow this URL may change, okay? For now, this is only one test method we created, but uh, tomorrow as part of the real-time project, hundreds of tests are, okay, even thousand tests we may create. And in every test, if you hard code the URL like this, and tomorrow if the client changes the URL or gives you a different URL, then you have to modify the URL here, not only in the single test, but you have to go to each and every test method and modify the URL that is of high maintenance task. Not only that, here you are hard coding the data also, test data also, okay? Whatever the valid credentials and valid password that you are giving here for logging into the application, okay? These credentials, may change tomorrow, okay? So this may work today, but tomorrow if the valid credential changes, again, you know, 
you have to go to the appropriate test methods and update the data test data here okay so that's again another problem so whatever the thing that is here we have hard coded the url hard coded the test data so what can i do if i don't want to hard code them rather i would like to centralize this uh, your hard coded url or test data in a separate file or something then one of the ways uh, with the help of testng.xml file okay i can delete this i can create it again if i want so delete this and uh, if you can see this project in this project we have this uh, test package under that we have only one class in that class we have this test method so right click on the project and uh, select test ng and say convert to test ng it will create the test ng xml file directly under the project you see this demo test uh, test package under the demo dot uh, demo demo file is there so this is how the test ng okay test ng dot xml file can be created now how to pass the this uh, url hard coded url or this data instead of hard coding them here how to remove the hard coding and uh, you know uh, pass them from the test xml file here the question is is it possible to pass the test data from test xml file the answer is yes and with the help of what with the help of these two things parameter tag and at the rate parameters annotation so how first we have to go to the test xml file and here under the test tag just uh, create parameter parameter name give the name you can give any name i'll give the name as url and i'll say value is equal to and give the value of that particular url in this script what is the value we have the value is this particular value i'll copy this value and uh, i'll paste it here okay not only that i'll create other parameters parameter name is equal to so here this is nothing but the email okay copy this uh, email data and here i'll say email okay some name i'll give value is equal to i'll give the email address okay that i would like to pass from this test change xml file to the test method one more parameter i'll create name is equal to i'll say password i'll say value is equal to that 12345 was the password right so i'll give the same thing okay this 12345 is a password now for receiving this url this email password from this exchange xml file to this uh, test and test method so here beside this uh, at the rate test you have to write something known as parameters okay this uh, okay so It's not the one it's not a correct place here we have to write okay sorry it is an annotation right it is an annotation it's not an attribute so on the top you can write it the rate uh, parameters like this you have to write pour the mode on this parameters annotation and import this from test ng library after that provide circular bracket in that circular bracket provide curly braces because we have multiple things so curly braces is required we have multiple things that we need we are passing from the test change xml file to this uh, test method so here put a colon and say first one is url okay here you can copy paste also if you want url the name of the parameter in the test change xml file comma one more parameter the name of the parameter is email copy this and paste it here and comma again colon and the other one that is password copy this and uh, paste it here that's it url email password okay now here create the parameters string app url comma string email address string okay password like this you can give different names they these parameters no, no need to have the same names that are specified in this uh, test in xml file but uh, this url will come into this app url this email will come into this email address password will come into this password okay from the test change xml file this value of this url will go here and from there it will travel here and we can use that okay app url you can instead of hard coding it simply write down the app url here and instead of writing the email address write the email address here and instead of writing the password write the password here that's it done we are good okay that's it guys so first of all let's see whether it is working fine or not we are able to log in or not manually it's able to log in 
So I'll log out here and run the script to see. Okay, I would like to run the script to see whether uh, this particular uh, URL uh, and test data are being passed from this test and XML file to this test method. For that, I need to run the test and XML file only. Run as test and switch. The test method in the demo class will be called, and you know, this data will be also be passed to that particular test method. Let's see. So it has opened the application URL. Then you see it got we got logged in. That means everything is working fine. URL is being passed. The rest data is being passed from the test and XML file to the test method. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for this uh, question. So with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.